yeah, what, what are your thoughts going into episode five? Well, my only thought is some of the previews we saw of, of uh, you know, Aaron's had some issue with dropping something. I think there were some previews of that. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So I'm worried about that. That's my main thing. I hope that everything goes okay. I hope it wasn't a disaster. Yeah, but I'm worried about that. Um, I, don't know. I don't know what else is going on. They also made it seem so tense. Why do I got to make it so tense? Oh, these reality shows. Here we go. I wonder what it's like for these Lego. You must get tired of talking. <laughs> the judges. Construction workers. Uh, we're just. It would have to be something like a mega city build. We can definitely do this. Oh, yeah. oh look at yeah. that. Oh, yeah, that. So, welcome cool. to Mega City. Population, well, you. Those we've got 14 builders, city blocks in this metropolis, but this only thing. seven have been developed. It's up to you to complete this city. Each team gets one vacant block, and you can do whatever you want with it. So these have to be mega cities. Oh. We're halfway through the competition now, and everyone has really stepped up their game. It's really coming down to those small details. So I'm really going to be looking for how you populate the city, both on the ground and in the buildings, to really bring that city to life. What if it's a big stack of food carts? It's like a you giant we'll food court. Yes! I feel a double high five Ready? going up. Yep. <laughs> we are building oh, food fun, carts. There's going to be oh, one original food oh, cart food from cart the 60s, there, but the genius. popularity oh, has man. caused an entire tower of food carts to grow up behind it. All these free yeah, yeah. but they're yeah. all... Yeah. Mark and I have been friends for a number of years, and it's like we can just dive into a challenge. I'm gonna go get a bunch of wheels? Yes! And it's like we understand each other. I can't imagine being here with anybody else. <laughs> I'm feeling good about this. The Brickmasters have told us explicitly this challenge is about scale. And we're going to bring something really massive to the table. Aaron and Christian, how do you feel about this challenge this week? So Aaron excited. This is something I've been wanting to do since I was a little boy. You know, who doesn't want to build a giant city? Yeah, uh, like is... a big skyscraper? Of course. Oh, yeah. I was a Lego fan as a kid, of course. And then to be able to experience it again is amazing. They're looking for it. To see these builders be well, given a challenge and build something so incredible, it's pretty rad. This is something you guys could do really well. You're both great technical builders. Thanks, Will. We're building a sustainability block. The tallest tower is going to be the model of eco-friendly living. Ooh. Next door to it is going to be a much older building that is being renovated. Well, I think that's really, really cool. Wait, what? What's that little fella? I missed the golden brick. Oh, he misses the golden brick. Oh, poor guy. Oh, is he gonna get it back? <laughs> is it up for grabs this challenge? We'll find. Oh, what if it's more kind of like an adventure? Come on, Flynn. We are building four themed towers. We have a tropical rainforest, a fun in the sun beach, a winter wonderland, okay, okay. and we have like a adventure forest. complex. I am pretty excited about it. That is a lot. Oakland. I love that. There's a lot of floors. In our sustainability city block, we're going to do a 14-story build because it's important in this mega city challenge to stand out with something that is truly mega. And we want to have the tallest building on the street. Tallest building. Are we going to get a little bit more minifigure storytelling in this? We're going to have 14 stories of this kind of windows. Okay. So inside of each one of these is going to be a little pocket of story. I'm also excited by something that starts to look like an elevator. This is going to be an elevator, yeah. It's an ambitious concept, but I think we can get it done in the time that we have. Seven hours! How's everybody feeling right now? Good. Yeah, yeah, good. good. You guys are killing it in the color department. <laughs> <laughs> not that you're not. Our most colorful building is... All right, fair enough. I think he got his bases covered. You know, when you take a punch in the face like losing a golden brick, you tend to pay attention to the brick mass. You can only take that kind of punch if you've won a golden brick. Oh! When you're up at the top, the only way to go is down. We can go pretty far down oh, from this no. big tall tower that we have, too. <laughs> I just hope you can get it to the podium, my oh, friend. Oh, my gosh, we're getting down to it. The tension wow. is super high. It's, it's happening. We're running out of time. Aaron and Christian have really put their all into the moment Ooh. so far. I'm feeling really, really proud of our Ooh. so far. Yeah, actually. So, Chris and Amy. Heaven forbid. 
Five minutes, everybody! Five minutes to complete your build! Gosh. We gotta sweep up all these bricks. Oh my god, dude. Nicely done. Yeah. We don't have to go and rig this challenge, so naturally, we need to make sure that we have the biggest building on the block. And as of right now, we've got 14 stories of exactly that. So we're gonna stay no. Cinderella lost her shoe and breaks into a thousand pieces. We didn't have as many fairy tale stories to tell as we hoped to, and now we've lost another one. This is devastating. They had a big bump. I don't remember how it was put together. Look, look. Just try. It took me an hour to put it together the first time. Oh, man. We're going to need a miracle to stay in this competition. I guess just try and put something together. Welcome to the gallery. Thank you. We're moving our table. We are moving our table. Hey, let's oh, be no. careful. We're not going to run over any bricks. Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, my God. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my God. That is so rough. What have you done in class when that's happened with a kid? Um... It's all about how you kind of respond, you know, I think trying to keep it positive with them and kind of keep a smile on your face and, and say it's okay, just acknowledge that it just, but also acknowledge that it sucks. Like, I'm yeah. so sorry. I mean, it depends if it's the kid's fault or if sometimes I've had things where I've like yep. dropped massive towers when we're working on it and it's yep. just, it's hard. Like, what about you? It's it's it talks so much about the resilience you talked about last time of like, you know, you have to let go of the result of it, but because if it's early in a class and it breaks, I can turn to a kid and be like, hey, it's Lego. You can always put Lego back together. But in a competition like this, where you worked so hard on something and then it just fades away it's like yeah oh. it's hard when when you know it when there's a time limit whether it's this or a class, or class. And there's a time limit and the failure happens at the end yeah it's very hard to not leave on a down you know like yeah. this with their brilliant thing the fact that whatever's going to happen they can't really be judged on what they actually did they, they hit a lego and the thing knocked over and that is what they're going to win or lose on just is heartbreaking Ugh. Oh, no, no. Oh. oh my god. Oh no. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. All right. Oh, oh my god. I seriously want to cry right now. As soon as I said not to roll over. Half the building just fell on the floor. The whole top of their building. Oh, oh my goodness. Oh. Watch that Lego. Watch that Lego. That's Save devastating. I wouldn't even want to wish that to my nemesis. I think it was just too unstable in the end. I think we're too high. You might want to start moving it because you're gonna have to go slow. I'm so sorry. Yeah. Okay, go, 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 go. go. I, I got this. I got the I got the roof. Bring that piece. Yeah, good idea. Watch out. Uh, oh. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Grab this the is where go, I would it. go and help these guys minute. out, man. I don't care. I would go over there and I would just be like, let's do it. Let's get your thing together. But that would I know the moving part is the worst. Way to adapt, Aaron. Wait to adapt. Yeah, good save. No. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Time's up. Rick's down. Oh, oh, cool. Where did Aaron go? It's okay, big dog. It's all right. We got a large majority of it there. It's gonna be okay. Give me a hug. Stand up. Give me a hug. Give me a hug. It's okay, big dog. <laughs> oh, nice. The best thing we can do is just walk out there. We have a hell of a build still. It had everything. I feel for those guys, you know, they put a lot of heart and soul in that build. Yeah, I know you're a competitive guy, game. but nobody wants that. No, nah, no, nah, I want no. you at your best. Yeah.
dude. Yeah. Woo. Sorry, man, that sucks. That really sucks. You invest a lot of time and a lot of thought into it, and I think everybody can relate to how tough that would be. I lost four or five stories of the build, including the one that made the elevator function happen. I feel like this is my fault, and it feels like I let myself down. I lost the elevator. Wow, you actually did it. You built for 14 hours. Look at this skyline. That's awesome. Brickmasters, what do you think about our mega city we got here? Nice, blue. This has exceeded oh, our expectations beautiful. dramatically. Our build is looking so good. Wow. This is the best I felt the entire competition. I am actually excited for this judging right now. Me too. I think it's a really great start. Wow. What? Right. Hold on. Did he just say start? I think he did. Ooh. Okay. Yeah. Because this whole thing is only the first part of your challenge. What? You're not done yet. <laughs> Are you excited, Aaron? You yeah, must be. I'm excited. You should be. <laughs> I can fix it. Your whole world is about to change because for the second part of your build, you're going to put your block <laughs> under attack. Yeah, I'm excited. Oh, yeah. This is the miracle we were hoping for. We are still alive. <laughs> the second chance is everything for us. We can finish our fairy tale stories and actually redeem our build. It's time to unleash your oh. second part of your challenge starts now. Oh my god. We feel like our build oh. is in the top Ooh. for the first time. Ooh. Ooh. And now yeah. the twist means Dude. that everyone else is not looking New so life. hot. This really just saved them. We're gonna reel very carefully this time. And now I'm nervous. Beep, beep. Back to the table. Yeah, we good? Yeah. We're going to divide and conquer. I'm going to work on getting back the building that we had, nice. turning that to its 14-story glory. But first, we are going to get started working on our twist. I really felt it when it when the thing happened before. Yeah. yeah. The thing that we won't talk about. Uh -huh. It's when your thing crashed. Remember? Uh, I do remember. Oh, yeah, actually, I mean, don't don't repeat this. But I was guys, wondering if uh, they're going to try to build it up too, or just leave it and work on glue. The, I know where it's back. No, I think we're okay. I think okay. We're okay. Bad. Thanks. Thanks. Okay. Okay. Cool. Okay. Okay. No. With this twist, we're now creating Smogra, and he is going to destroy the eco-friendly yeah. city. Oh, that's so cool! Two hours! Damn. By lightning. Something mysterious about the lightning has Whoa, changed the food into, like, no, monsters. Hot dogs! We make an army of hot dogs! Every time we sit and explain what we <laughs> built, I always get this, like, did we there. really come up with this? <laughs> Something like that. Oh, it looks so evil. I love it. Ah, One hour! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Keep building Dude, things and things. destroying things. <laughs> we got like you a, should concentrate on monsters on. and let me focus on the other stuff. We created four themed towers, and now they're going to get attacked by a giant spider and lots yeah, of little please. spiders. <laughs> got back little legs. How do you really yeah. show that Lynn. it's like a technology yeah, monster? Cool. Let's be careful this time, folks. Slow as can be. Very, very gentle. We're in way floor, better shape than we were before. It's good we're seeing the brooms come out. Oh, right? here we go. Are you ready to roll? Here come Amy and Crystal. I'm going to go full curling style. Uh -huh. Hard, 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 hard. <laughs> well. I'm here. Not on my watch. Not on my watch. Am I missing anything? No, you're fine. So the new plan is you're going to take the top and bring it later. Yeah, we're going to yes. take all fragile parts and put them on a little Imagine later. that. Um, you know what that's called? Learn. Oh, they're doing the doing part. <laughs> 90 seconds. It's coming down. Oh, so they the are going to add it back on. Got it. I'm going to yeah, attach the other arm. Oh, my God. Separate. Push it in. Five, four, three, two, one. Time's up. Breaks oh down. Yeah. All right, we're back. We got they're this back. Right. Here. It's standing the tallest Woo. building amongst the entire skyline. It's done, and it's finally time to visit your city. Christian, 
You're up first. Woo, let's go. This challenge has been a real roller coaster. Not only have we recovered our building, I know we made something that's show-stopping and stands above the rest. I'm very proud of this building. Yes. So this is Attack on Sustainable City. We have a city block that is very climate change minded, having greenery, vertical gardens, wind turbines. But in the construction yeah. effort to renovate, they've disturbed Smogra, an ancient pollution monster come to claim the city back for his own. Love that you managed to make your build tall again. That's the tallest building. And I love that it's full of details on every single level. Having an elevator that's functional, which is not easy to do, is a testament to your technical skill. I also think your monster does actually stand out on the skyline very nicely. Thanks. Thank you so much. We're back, baby! Cooking with some gas now! Mel. Let's check out your build. Come on, Flynn! Let's go, Richard Flynn! This is Adventure Park Towers, where citizens can go to oh, escape yes. the city. We have the Rainforest Building. We're animating it. That's a good sign. The Winter Building. And the Fantasy Forest. One day, a banana crate arrives carrying a mutant spider queen. She escapes and spawns hundreds of spider babies that terrorize oh, the people. that's awesome. <laughs> I think that the twist has that's really played well for you. Awesome. You've got a really fun story with a spider coming in so and those good. cobwebs yeah. all over really feel like mayhem is happening. Super fun and exciting. Thank you. Thank you so much. Pops Food Cart Tower, where your eating experience comes alive. Yes! Yeah, I love it. <laughs> Welcome to Pops Ooh, Food Cart. Pops opened back in 1965. It became so popular that it grew into a giant tower of food carts. Then lightning strikes. And all the hot dogs are turning into monsters. <laughs> but Pops isn't going to let hot dogs run him out of business, so he's fighting back. You know, <laughs> you that know. old chestnut. <laughs> <laughs> That's Before we had the twist, we really had this great food emporium. And then the twist came. And you just made your story even more fun. You brought these hot dogs. They're kind of scary. They're kind of silly but they definitely stand out in the model. And you've used so much color in such a beautiful way throughout the building. I also like the humor aspects. The fact that somebody does not want to let go of that turkey leg. He's like, I gotta get one more bite in. <laughs> Thank you. Team stood out from the rest. The first team. Flynn? Mark and Boone. Yeah, Mark and Boone. The ones that animated, right? The animated ones. Yeah, Our second but they were team clearly... in the top two is Aaron and Christian. Oh, Aaron and Christian! Coming out of nowhere! Love it. Oh, oh nice! City block impress you the most? Our winning team for this challenge is... Good. Mark and Boone. Yes! Oh, good job! Mark and Boone, every little story you had in there brought meaning and added to the story of the build. And I That's love true. how you used the color really to really make that yeah. architecture exciting. Well done. We just had this creative block that we had to get over at the beginning of the challenge. And then we won. I really believe we could win this competition now. OK, Bill. It's going home today. Is Crystal at Amy? Oh. oh no. You girls should really be proud of what you've built and how you've done in this competition. Don't see it as a failure at all. You really are an inspiration. It's tough. <laughs> it's very tough. Crystal and Amy, we are really sad to see you go. You've been an unbelievably great addition to LEGO Masters. Please turn in your minifigs and say goodbye. Our build was amazing. We both and loved our build. It was probably like the best yeah. build that we've ever done. Being here on LEGO Masters has been magical. It really represents like the best parts about LEGO. We have shared our message, which is really about just empowering girls and women. Show them that LEGO is cool and do your own thing. Really wouldn't change this for the world. So what do you think? Oh.
Well, hey, I'm really glad that Aaron and Christian made it through on that one Woo! and that they did not get eliminated on a Woo! brick stuck under their wheel. That's what I'm most happy about. No worry. I was so worried. They, they came back with it great. I think Flynn, you know, th their, their build, I think, easily could have won it too. I thought it was beautiful and a great story and everything too. So our, our play well people are bringing it. We had a little scare. But they're bringing it. I love it. We're still alive. Still, still alive. alive. Still alive. So that was Your great. Teams. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff to think about. I don't know. What do you think? Um, I, uh, <laughs> well, I'll, I'll say two things. One, I think she got, I think the Lego master got emotional because she wouldn't want to kick out that team, right? That team, like, represents, you know, like, the future of Lego, which is, like, phenomenal female builders, you know? And, um, yeah, yeah, she's tough to, like, let them go because they are super talented. It's hard because uh, they, yeah, they were, they were, like, it's a roller coaster, too, because they had so much pride. They were, like, excited for the judging at the beginning. And so that to have, it, it's the opposite of what happened to Aaron and them and Christian because it is super high. And then they all of a sudden were down and that's just heartbreaking for Yeah, you know. that is. Yeah. Yeah. So that's, I mean, I'm so happy that Aaron's elevator worked and that Christian got his back. He's like, give me a hug, man. We're going to go back out there. I love that. And that they got, I mean, they still would have been competitive even if it was lower. Yeah. They still would have been in the game. So the fact that their talent is so good, their skill is so good that they can't – they wouldn't even have been eliminated even if they, they just submitted that is just telling. Um, but, man, those boon builders, dude, when they get going – when they get going, the combination of just silliness, story, ridiculousness, creativity, and this, like, um, embracing the play of it, like, just the chaos of it all is just, it's just, it's phenomenal watching. Hey, and you know what? They, they have fun. They really enjoy it. They really it. have fun. And, but the thing is, like, I was actually excited to see those guys – um, have a little trouble early on, right. but it's about like when working as a team, there is going to be conflict. There's right. going to be headbutting, and I think they dealt with it really gracefully. I think they did. They, they got it out there. They listened to each other. They're like, "You're upset." Yeah, I'm upset. This is what I thought was going to go on. Yep. You know, and but they did it, and I think that at one point, they you know recognizing each other's strengths too is huge. Like, I, I forget which who's Boone and which the guy which the guys are, but he, one of them's like. I'm just, I need to unleash him. He needs to go build. Yes. And I'm going to take care of some story. So I think recognizing each other's strengths, knowing when to just kind of let them go and do their thing. It was really cool to see them kind of struggle a little bit and then, and then um, just gel. And it wasn't, there was nothing really emotional or, or kind of, they weren't being mean to each other. They weren't being angry at each other. They just, they talked about it. They figured it out and they just kind of moved through it. And then they had a great time. And I think so, the, the other part that's like a good lesson to learn is they focused on the problem and not each other. Yeah, exactly. Especially, it's like, I'm upset because this was the vision that I thought we yep. had, but we're not yep. on the same page. It's not that you're a problem and I'm not, you know, I'm right and you're wrong. And I think the other part about it, when you think, watch a team, it really comes down to like those words of trust where ultimately he, when he was like, yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to just let you go. Like that was probably so uplifting for him because it's like, thank you. Yeah. Trust me. We're going to get, I know, I know you have an issue with the bottom of this, but look at the top of this, look at the vision. And I mean, look what happened, man. I mean, they were going to be competitive anyway. Um, yeah. I will also say, I mean, they animated Flynn. So I was like, oh, is Flynn going to get another? Another win in the column. Oh, yeah. theirs was so good too because yeah. it, was, it was very clear. Store each building represents a different story, and 
that alone was really good. But then the idea with the spiders, ah, oh, just was yeah. so smart. And, and also didn't have to take that much complex building to tell that story, which yeah. is great. Yeah, I think it would have been interesting. Like, I think that um, uh, part of me would, was, was hoping that like with, with Aaron's, with their, with their broken building, that they would have like owned that more in the destruction oh, of right. whatever it was. You know, like if they would have, if they would have made, I don't, you don't want to really make the monster like a brick under a wheel because it wouldn't really go with their thing. But something fun about owning what just happened, about like taking some of the shards of their building and maybe recreating it a little funky because that's, it's being attacked by the environmental monster. Yeah. You know, like working that in a little bit would have been, I think, a fun way but they because just they you're, have, you're allowing the failure to partly be part of your story right yeah because it's about being attacked and they got attacked by a by a lego and a rogue lego under a wheel you know so it's like they really did get attacked so it's almost like they could have owned it more which would have been really funny but but um i think for what they did for their theme which was the eco city the big the big rubber like oil monster was it worked really well and oh story. yeah genius oh yeah and then the stories on each level i would have actually loved to watch each of those stories yeah. and have them explain that um so um uh, takeaways that you would want kids to uh grab from this well 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 i think um let's see <laughs> Don't transport something tall and skinny at one in one piece. That's one lesson. <laughs> like I love that they learned. They you know they brought it over in parts. Um, you know, it's it, like in addition to things we've talked about before, like the playfulness. I think I really like what you said about focusing on the problem when you're having an issue with something and you're and you're like don't don't make it about person versus person and have this tug of war like let's look at the problem together and get you out of it and let's figure this thing out i think is big and not being afraid of that conflict is big you know just yeah. telling people if you're having a hard time yeah seeing them move through that was was great um so much of it is about the fun i think that that you know that boone and remind me his other name boone and who I forget the other guy's name. Anyway, we can edit it up. Boone guys. But, but those guys, those guys loved it. They were talking about the food carts in their city. They owned that story. And so they owned every part of it. When it got attacked, they loved it. They loved the whole thing. Whereas those two nice, the, the women who just got eliminated, they loved their building. But I was invested in the story. And I think when they're, you know, when you're not as invested in in the fun of the story, then it's it just becomes less playful, and and yeah. they they get too in their head. They were thinking about this crazy, you know, um, complicated thing when play is simple. Like if, if you have, they're the Boone guys, their thing was simple, clear, and fun, and they were yeah. just having fun. They weren't trying to overthink it. Yeah. Um. So those are big things, and I think that with architecture really thinking about i think the little thing that they said about the greebling like the just thinking about textures thinking about you know how much character you can give a flat surface whether it's a wall or a building or whatever that you can really it doesn't have to be just flat you can really make it um unique by adding some texture to it like that so as a building thing it was a cool thing yeah right. and all cool. this concludes episode of five uh... all right. Subscribe below. Thanks so much for joining us. All right. Can't wait till next week. See you then.